So here we are in chapter 8. We are going, we have four points at the start of the chapter. We need to put one point in speed. Where is speed? One point in speed. And we're going to put one point in observation. One point in observation. We have maxed those out. We did this before as well because I like these two. I have ancient language sufficient apparently. And uh, so one point in speed I did. One point in observation I did. And two points in strength. We finally need strength apparently. So we're going to go with two points in strength. Confirm changes. So we are stuck in that little bullshit right now. You have invested now. We don't need to open this again. Return to game. Um, yeah, we are like, should we leave? Should we stay here? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm fine. I know. There you have iOS versions as well. Well, I suppose you guys know now. Uh, if you have an iPhone or something, you can play on that as well. Now, where we are, let's see. So, here's the situation. We are trapped by the Golden Fox in this underground prison. Uh, she has come by, I think, to show herself just yet. We are supposed to break free from this uh, simple prison. It's just like metal bars and whatnot because they pretty much expect us to break out and whatnot. So, and who cares really? So, I'm supposed to say we should talk things out with the leader. Yeah, wait. I think we should try to talk things through with the leader, which is not the option I took. But if you take this, you will get an achievement. I didn't. Maybe? Uh, I think we should try to talk things out with the leader first. I think maybe I did pick this. Holy shit. Did I actually pick this? Uh, and then the like democracy. Sorry, Barry, she says. And then like everyone is like, stop. And then, oh yeah, they pretty much come and like a fucking golden fox comes around and talks about all the things. So this is a meaningless choice. My loyal subjects inform me that you were caught trespassing on the sacred grounds. What do you have to say in your defense? Last time I picked, we were meant to leave, but we were attacked and left there unconscious, which meant that she just went like, oh, you were fighting, that we definitely need to kill you. We didn't know that we were on sacred grounds. Um, that is your defense? The fox asked me, Baffle, in what way does ignorance absolve you of your transgression? You deny having transgressed on our sacred grounds? No, but... Uh, then I hereby find you guilty and sentence you a lifetime of hard labor. At least they didn't kill us. Maybe your years spent here make you reflect upon what you have done and repent for your crimes. Now wait for just one second, Darren says. What kind of nonsensical sentence is this? Who sentenced someone to a life of labor like that just because of what ha they, they happened to walk into a forbidden area by accident? You also execute your fawns and cubs if they don't keep off the grass in a park? It would be wise to not address me in such a casual manner, mage in armor, Leia says. But to answer your question, the animal kingdom has neither parks nor a rule to keep off the grass in any region of the continent. However, if there were such a rule, a cup of fawn were to break it, then I assure you I would not hesitate in, order, in ordering their execution. Rules are meant to be upheld both by humans and by animals. The fact that you are humans... Uh, humans are so lenient with your rules. It's one of the main reasons why your society is decaying to such a degree. I will hear no more of this. You will begin your work tomorrow at the break of dawn. You have until then to prepare yourself for what is to come. Yeah, then she just leaves and then we just do a break out of this area. Who cares? Right, so we are leaving the cell at this point and then there we have to like look at something. We have already met Rose apparently. Now we need to look at, uh, not Rose, the Petal maybe we have met Petal, who cares, we'll see. Um, forget the prisoners I say, I'm more worried about the complete lack of guards in this place. They seriously think that we could, couldn't bring down these frail old walls like, without magic? Here Rose, there, because we don't we are, don't have access to magic, they have put some like collars on us or something. Here Rose, Darren calls out, ah, uh, as he is studying the writing on a wall. Can you come over for a second uh, certainly rose says she heads over to his side you can read ancient language right uh, can you tell me what uh, what the saying is hmm rose says uh, as she looks at the text of follows her brows i'm afraid that this is a bit too advanced for me i can tell that it's written in the language used by lesethi of old but i cannot understand any of its words barry darren says didn't that trinket of yours have a stat name ancient device come over here and see if you can translate this by the way this thing Last time I didn't have the stats point in like ancient language because of which I was like a ridicule here. Like, did you just put your points into anything whenever you get the chance? You should uh, hold on to them or whatever. So we have succeeded in this. As I just have the glyphs on the wall, I realized that the writing says, If you like discovering secrets, tap each of these glyphs in rapid succession. Well, Darren asked me, what does this say? Uh, and then I'm supposed to choose to follow the instructions written on the wall and gain the first piece of the puzzle. Translate the phrase to Darren, but don't touch the glyphs. Tell Darren in some cryptic warning, don't touch the glyphs. Follow the instructions written on the wall. Uh, first piece of the puzzle, that's an achievement unlocked. Tap all the glyphs in order one by one, just as an instruction said. Suddenly the stone with the marking on it slides itself to the side. The two small objects get thrown out of the hole. 
it left in the wall, the stone then slides back into place of its original position. Upon closer inspection, I see that because this area has a lot of traps and stuff, mechanisms, so this is expected. Upon closer inspection, I see that the two objects that came out of the wall are a small parchment and what appears to be a piece of a puzzle. I take them both from the ground, I read the piece of parchment, and the text on it is written common. Um, common language this time and it says find all of the pieces of the puzzle and I will share you share with you my greatest secret I've left one of these in each of the buildings I've designed the parchment is then signed as simply the building's architect is probably a Lesethi or something okay Darren says I put the small parchment and the puzzle piece in my left pocket first of all why did the glyphs say and second what are those Glyph said that if I press them all in rapid succession, I'll discover a secret. The parchment said that if I find all the pieces of the puzzle, I'll find out this building's architect's greatest secret. Useless, Darren says, disappointed, as he steps away from the walls and starts to walk down the corridor again. I don't know what I really, I was really expecting, I mean, uh, but it's not like we are stops in mid-sentence. Oh yeah, little girl. Then we have seen all of this stuff after that. This is a meaningless choice, then where we are asking like who is she? I don't think she is a participant as far as I know, but she is here. I never actually understood why she is here, except for the fact she is not a participant. Maybe she's also participating in the tournament. Maybe she's a prisoner here too. We are talking about Petal by the way, the one with two souls. Um, Iluna and Petal, you know. She's also participating in the tournament. Maybe she's a prisoner here too. The organizers didn't know about her. Uh, I picked this one last time, I'm just gonna pick this one because I don't really care because this choice doesn't matter, you've already read all this. This is where I told Hardrick to just break through the wall because the walls were going to crush on top of us. Uh, because there was some mechanism that we accidentally picked off and, uh, you know, uh, what is the name? Flower went to deactivate it. Uh, but we're going to do that again, but this time I'm not gonna tell Hardrick to uh, smash the wall. It says convince Hardrick to wait a little longer for Flower, we're gonna do that. Hardrick is too risky. Can't you give uh, Flower just a little more time? Hardrick looks displeased that he isn't getting any kind of support from the group. Well, alright then, Hardrick says. If no one likes my idea, then I'll hold off for a while longer. But mark my words, if those walls actually reach us, I'm not going to hold back. After 15 more seconds of waiting, the walls suddenly start to uh, finally start to slow down. And soon they come to a complete halt. It doesn't take longer for Flower to make her appearance again. With a victorious smile on her face. Ha! I did it. She says, uh, soon after she... Soon after she drops from a hole in the ceiling, but I think I should also tell you the bad news. See, when I was fiddling around with those complex mechanisms upstairs, I may have accidentally activated all of the traps in the corridor. You what? Kate says. Don't worry, I can still fix this flower cells. I know uh, where most of the traps are. As long as you follow my instruction, you should be fine. I just need to do a quick test run and make sure that I'm not remembering anything. Or this is where she like runs around and activates every trap and just run every uh, through every single trap there is. This is the, um, what is it called? This is the point where we jump down a hole with everyone and we land on top of a hydra. So it's like, as Kate talks, I can feel the surface we are on slowly moving up and down. I can also hear a continuous glow growl somewhere above us. Something's not right here. Examine the surface more closely. I start to look closely at the surface we are sitting on to see if I can tell what's it made of. It has sort of a slithery feel to it and I'm not mistaken, there are small green, dark green scales covering the whole surface at this point. Yeah, this is just the Hydra, we already know it's gonna start screaming and we're gonna look around. Moving on, we have already seen all this. So here we got hearing check level 4 which we did last time as well. I can hear someone's heart pounding very rapidly. Trying to locate the source of the sound, realize that it isn't coming from one of us, but from the Hydra. Start to block out all other sounds from the, with my mind and focus solely on the loud beating of the monster's heart. In order to pinpoint its exact location, it takes me a few seconds, but in the end, I managed to trace the sound back to its origin, the tip of the Hydra's tail. So that's where it was hiding its weak, weak point. Well, Hardrick says, if I'm not going to, if you're not going to come at us, he doesn't finish his sentence and rushes straight for the nine-headed creature. The monster attacks the dwarf with four of his head but he jumps out of the way and manages to place himself below the Hydra's body. Hardrick then flexes all of his muscles and starts lifting Hydra off the uh, ground as he roars loudly. His face almost turns red from the effort. But the Hydra has the time to react, the dwarf then sends it crashing into the nearest wall. The creature is now staggering clums clumsily uh, trying to get back up. Um, now this is where we are supposed to 